All right, good evening. Welcome to everyone. You're going to have a wonderful evening this evening. I'm so blessed to have these guys here with us tonight. So, I'll say a word of prayer, then we'll hand it over to Ototo and they'll, uh, they'll have it from there. Shall we pray? Father, we're so thankful that we can gather and just have this wonderful evening with these wonderful people that love you and have come to serve you. And we want to give this time to you. Pray that each and every one here will be blessed. That, Lord, you would accomplish your purposes here this evening. And you and your name will be glorified. We ask in Jesus' name. So will you give a big welcome to Watoto. you are here because we are just moments away from the Watoto Children's Choir performance. I'm Joanna and right now I am in Uganda, East Africa at one of three Watoto villages with my friends Beatrice Hi. and Shakira. Now Hi. these girls are being raised here and this place is incredible. It's full of hope and the inescapable peace of Christ. Beatrice and Shakira are the result of a whole lot of love. In fact, all of Watoto is the result of love. But it didn't happen overnight. Founded about 40 years ago by Gary and Marilyn Skinner, Watoto is a church that celebrates Christ and cares for community by rescuing babies, raising orphaned and vulnerable children, and empowering single mothers in our neighborhoods. Watoto is committed to creating better days and reminding people everywhere there is hope. Okay, girls? I think it's time. We want to invite you to sit back, relax, and join the Watoto Children's Choir on a journey of restoration and hope. Thank you. 
behalf of the choir, thank you so much for having us today. We come from an awesome church in Uganda where we love to worship, sing, dance, and we celebrate what God has done for us. And he has done so much. We are excited to be with you. And we would like you to join us as we celebrate the God of heaven and earth. Who is like no other. There is nobody like our God. No one, nowhere. So come on. Don't be shy. Everybody get up and follow the choir.
your neighbor a high five on the left and give them a big high five tell them what a great job they did you guys did well singing and dancing with the choir these guys over here you guys done so well well done amazing shall we appreciate Jeremiah for leading us today so well yeah he led us right well done buddy yeah hey tell your neighbor it's good to be here today on the left just say, it's good to be here today you're in for a treat amazing you may now all be seated The adults and children you see here today represent thousands whose lives have been rescued and rebuilt by God through a total. I think you would agree that their faces and smiles are radiant and beautiful. Wouldn't you agree? Yeah. Well, that's true, but it hasn't always been this way. Our homeland, Uganda, is a nation in the middle of Africa with a broken history. It's a story of poverty, suffering, war, and disease. In countless numbers of women and children have been abandoned and left behind to barely survive in extremely unpleasant circumstances. Their faces, unseen. Their voices, unheard. An entire generation has been all but lost. Life can indeed be so cruel and unkind. Sometimes it's too much to fully understand or comprehend. But the Bible clearly tells us in Psalms chapter 68, verse 5 to 6, that God is a father to the fatherless. He is a defender of widows and he sets the lonely in families. God sees these desperate women and children and he knows each one of them by name.
on this stage were abandoned as babies. My name is Asia and this is my story. I do not know who my parents are. Shortly after I was born, my mother left me in a local hospital. The local authorities tried to look for her, but they couldn't find her. We all have things that you are believing God for. Dreams we hope to see come to pass. But sometimes in life, our dreams get shattered or delayed. Don't give up. Don't be discouraged. In Jesus, there is hope.
son of man that you shall lie and that you've sent forth your word and has returned to you for it. Friends, God has exalted Jesus to the highest place, giving him a name that's above every name and at the mention of Jesus, every knee will bow and every tongue will confess that he is Lord. So let's rise up on our feet. Because right now, we speak the powerful name of Jesus over your lives, over your friends, and over your families.
would like to take this moment right now to encourage you and pray for you. We believe that there are people here today who may feel abandoned, forgotten, and all alone. Maybe things just haven't gone your way lately. Perhaps you just lost your job. Maybe the person you love so dearly has passed away. Or your marriage or relationship is fractured, frayed, and broken. Your business may be struggling. A friendship could be lost. But the mercy and compassion of God are new every morning, and they never fail. His faithfulness is very great. God promises in Psalm 46 to be our refuge and strength and he's ready to help us when we need him. We can be confident that he hears us and gives us what we ask for according to his will. And so, we'd like to pray for you. Jesus, there is power in your name. We speak healing right now in this place. Rebuild broken relationships. Restore broken marriages in this place. Open doors for work, for provision. Lord, we believe for better days. In the name of Jesus, and everyone says, Amen. Amen. In the same moment of prayer, is your life right with God? John 3.16 tells us that this is how much God loved the world. He gave his son, his one and only son. And this is why. So that no one need be destroyed. By believing in him, anyone can have a whole and lasting life. Friends, the most important decision you will ever make in life is to surrender your life to Jesus. God sent his son, his one and only son, to pay the price so that you and I can be free from sin. And true freedom only comes if you surrender your heart and soul to Jesus. And so, will you surrender to him today? Maybe you knew him, but you've been so distant. Will you recommit your life to him today? If you would like to start a journey with him, right where you are, with every head bowed and every eye closed, you're saying, that's me. Just raise your hand and we'll pray with you. Thank you for that hand, my sister. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for that hand. Thank you. You're not raising that hand to me. You're raising it to Jesus. Jesus is the only one who saves. Just raise that hand and we'll pray with you. I'm going to invite witness to lead us in a simple prayer. And here's what I want you to do. Repeat each and every word after her and mean it from the bottom of your heart. Let's pray. Dear Jesus, I confess my sins and ask for your forgiveness. Please come into my heart as my Lord and Savior. Thank you, Lord, for saving me. In your name we pray. Amen. Come on, shall we honor the name of Jesus with a big hand clap of praise this evening? Amazing. Amazing. Will you take your seats for a moment now? Just for a moment, just take your seats. 
If you just said yes to Jesus, thank you so much and welcome to the family of God. Shall we celebrate everyone that just gave their lives to Christ this evening? Fantastic. So later on in the service, Pastor Ine is going to come up here to share some next steps with you as you start this amazing journey. Now listen, our prayer for you is that you will experience God's unending love and that His purpose for your life will become clearer as you pursue Him. Once again, welcome to the family of God. <laughs> a brand new day All the news feels like Monday morning Slow it down Take a breath, rewind Got a feeling If we spread my wings I will fly There's a hope down In my heart Telling me God's not yet done And there's a place I can't explain that better days are yet to to come. Do you believe that? Amazing. Come on, let's celebrate Jesus one more time with a big hand clap. One more time. Amazing. The Bible tells us in 2 Corinthians 1.20 that the promises of God for our lives are yes and amen. The word amen simply means let it be so. God is for us and not against us. His plans for our lives are magnificent. Amen? Amen. As I earlier shared, countless thousands of women have been widowed. And thousands of children have been orphaned, abandoned, or even discarded. And some of them on the trash heaps of our city, Kampala. It really is difficult to fully understand how hard life is for women and children who find themselves in this situation. But the story doesn't necessarily end there. The church we come from, Watoto Church, rescues vulnerable women and children from their plight. 
giving them hope, loving them and meeting their holistic needs. And that's what's happened to all the children you see before you today. I'm Gloria. My father left our family when I was very young. My mom struggled to take care of my siblings and I. I am Josiah. When I was a baby, my mother was traveling on a bus. She got up and gave me to another passenger and got off at the next stop, leaving me behind. No one was ever able to find her. Like all of my brothers and sisters on stage and back home, I ended up at Watoto, and that's where everything changed. Watoto is all we know. Watoto is our new family. Watoto is my friends. Watoto is my school. Watoto is my sports team. Watoto is my doctor. Watoto is my sponsor. Watoto is my church. And Watoto is the village where we all live together. God is good. Who knows where I would be otherwise? He has promised to give us better days, a bright future filled with hope. That's right. No matter where you are, if you put your trust in Jesus, better days are still to come. We have a dream for the future of our land. And it's a dream where our broken hearts are healed and shattered dreams are restored. It's a dream where every child knows that they are a child of God. It is a dream where desperate women do not have to live in fear anymore. A dream where God is the way maker, peace giver, father and friend. And to each of these promises, we say yes and amen. The past may have been painful, bitterly dark and cold, but the future is radiant and better days are still to come. God is not done with you yet. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you but not to harm. Plans to give you hope and a future.
I've got my dancing shoes on, but uh, I don't think I'm going to try. Uh, my name's Len. If you don't know me, I'm one of the assistant pastors here at the church. So good to see you all out tonight. I'm blessed this week. I'm up at a, a school in Titusville uh, teaching their spiritual emphasis week. And would you know it? It's an Africa safari theme that I'm teaching. So this is just in the flow for me. But uh, I have an opportunity right now to share with you an, a way that you can support the ministry that you're seeing tonight. We've had the Watoto Choir. Who, who happens to have been here? It's been about 10 years ago that Watoto was last with us. Okay, some of you. Yeah, awesome to have them back tonight. I don't know if you realize that Watoto is not just a, a choir, it's a church. And it reminds me a little bit of our church, Calvary Chapel, Merritt Island. Our pastor will celebrate 40 years here coming up in January. And yeah, isn't that awesome? And Watoto, the church, has been going strong for 39 years. So very similar. The Lord has called Watoto, the church, to care for the orphan and the widow. Of course, we know that we've been called to that as well. So I know some of you were even asking me before we began tonight, are you going to do an offering of any kind? Because you want to support the ministry, and that's really ultimately what, what Toto is. It's, it's ministry. So they care for right now over 3,000 children in three Watoto villages, each with hundreds of homes in each of those villages. Caring for orphans, caring for widows. So real quick, I wanted to uh, just give you those ways that you can support if you're moved in your heart. Again, we don't want to pressure anyone. We want the Lord to move. In our church, we feel very strongly that giving is an act of worship. And that's why in our church forever over those almost 40 years, we have passed a bag up and down in the middle of our worship service on a Sunday. And our giving has been part of that worship time. Since COVID, we have not passed a bag. <laughs> you know, all that contact stuff kind of stopped. And we thought about bringing the bags out tonight, and I dusted them off. But you know what? If you're a part of our church, you're really good at giving. Uh, giving increased when we stopped passing the bag, which was interesting. We don't just do it for the quantity, though. We always are concerned about the quality, that it's worship, it's worship giving, right, from a grateful, cheerful heart. So tonight, we're not going to pass a bag. We changed our minds. We talked to the Watoto leaders, and they were like, hey, this is your house. You do what you're comfortable. So we've got boxes uh, in the back of the sanctuary, offering boxes. If you want to put in cash there, you can tonight. They're emptied. We emptied them before the event, and anything that ends up in those boxes tonight goes straight to Watoto. If you want to put a check in, it's best to write it to Calvary Chapel with Watoto in the memo. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna make one lump sum check at the end of the night, and we'll send that on to Watoto. So if, and I, I know I don't carry cash in my pocket, and a lot of people don't write checks. If you're used to giving online with us, that's also available. Watoto is in the drop down. If you wanna to go to ccmeritisland.org forward slash giving, you have that opportunity. If, if you're used to giving online, you can do that. So that's it. Again, no pressure. You just give as the Lord leads. Secondly, if you didn't see all the cool stuff back at the merchandise table, check it out. Here's, here's the interesting thing. The CDs and the T-shirts, those are kind of bought and paid for stuff that they had made. Everything else back there is handmade by one of the women involved with Watoto. Isn't that cool? If you look carefully, you'll find the lady's name who made it somewhere on the item, whether it's a purse, a bag, or something. So check it out. Lots of good stuff back there. Love it. Uh, and then you're also going to hear tonight about sponsoring a child, probably, uh, you know, the heartbeat of the ministry, where you can sign up to commit $38 a month to a child or a couple children, and that goes straight to those Watoto villages and helps support them through their lives. One of the cool things about Watoto, they're not an orphanage. You don't age out of Watoto because you don't age out of a family. And Watoto's a family. They've created this environment where widows and orphans can really love on each other and they become a family that when the child's 18 or whatever you consider adulthood, they're still in the family. So if you want to support a child, you can do that back there uh, after we finish tonight. Praise the Lord. Finally, next steps. If you prayed with the guys tonight, we would love an opportunity personally to minister to you. We have a prayer room, the door on my right, your left. When we're finished with the evening, if there's something going on in your heart, and whether it be just a need, you're a, you're a believer and God has spoken to you, or tonight for the very first time you prayed to the Lord 
through his son Jesus. We'd love a chance to give you a Bible, give you some things that will help you on your journey. So there'll be a few of us pastors over here and elders over by that door, little prayer room inside there that we can just minister to you for a few minutes before you head out. So would you join with me? We have done a lot of spiritual activities tonight. Would you pray a blessing on these guys that we can send them with? And again, any other kind of support you want to give, that's between you and the Lord. But can we pray for this ministry together? Father, we do thank you for this opportunity to have our friends back with us, and just to hear their stories, to see your faithfulness. It's, it's good to be part of something bigger than our own four walls or our own little part of the vineyard here, that there is a body of Christ that's big. Your arms wrap around this world that you say you love, that you've given your own son for. So, Lord, we pray for our brothers and sisters tonight, young and old, who are part of the Watoto ministry, those who are back home in Uganda, for all these villages, Lord, that you would keep doing what you're doing, that you would receive honor and glory through the simple care of those who need it. May the name of Jesus be lifted up, for it's in his name we agree together. Amen. 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 Bless you.
song that we've sung here tonight Jesus is our refuge my name is Priscilla and I joined Watoto as a four year old today I'm a graduate with a bachelor's degree in industrial and fine arts and I've had the awesome privilege of working with the vulnerable women in our neighborhood program designing some of the products you'll find at our merchandise tables tonight. And before we sing our last song, I want to invite you to join the Watoto family as a sponsor. Sponsorship makes all that Watoto is for these women and children possible. And it goes a long way. Sponsorship means a home, a family, a community, a school, a church and so much more as you've heard earlier on tonight many of us who are part of the early days of watoto are now adults just like martin on the lights <laughs> jonah on the drums and myself we have our own lives now businesses families and a matter of fact Many of us are now sponsors to our little brothers and sisters. Many of us have been through the university successfully and we are indeed very blessed. Our best days are not behind us. They are ahead. Well, sponsorship is a journey. Sponsorship is a relationship. Some people meet their sponsor's child as part of the choir on the road or even when they visit Uganda. And it's very exciting when that happens. Some people sponsor a handful of children, a little village, all to themselves. Sponsorship is about life. There is a giving and receiving that comes from it. Sponsorship is about sharing love and kindness, and it goes both ways. Sponsorship matters. Many years ago, my profiles just like this one were sent all around the world, and Alan from Tennessee sponsored me. I'm the leader that I am today because of what someone else did for me. And at the end of the concert, Please don't be in a rush to go home. Some of the team and I will be waiting for you at the tables to give you more guidelines on how you can join the Watoto family as a sponsor. And from the bottom of our hearts, we want to say thank you so much for your generosity. And may God bless you. And right now, I would like to invite you to see the impact of sponsorship over the years in some of the lives of my brothers and sisters.
Come on, Calvary Chapel. Shall we celebrate the faithfulness of God? Amazing. Hey, thank you so much, Calvary Chapel, for having us here today. Hope you've had a great time. Have you had a great time? This evening, amazing. Yeah, the energy of sin on stage. First, it's because of Jesus. Number two, the food that we just had this evening. It was amazing. So thank you so much for having us here today. Now we've come to the end of our worship concert. And uh, just like Priscilla said, sponsorship does change lives. And we'd like to invite you on this journey to partner with us through sponsorship. You are changing countless thousands of lives, just like these very little, little ones right here. So for only $38 per month, you can be part of what God is calling us to do in Africa, to rescue, raise, and rebuild. We shall be at the tables at the back to assist you as you get to be part of this journey. But also we get some beautiful merchandise that would like you to purchase beautiful t-shirts. If you Did you love the music tonight? Yeah. So we have that on CD. Please do go by our merchandise table and purchase yourself some beautiful CDs. But also I'm seeing a couple of kids here, very many of you. Hey, tell mommy and daddy to go to the tables and buy you some stuffed animals. The giraffes, you will love them. Yeah. So don't forget to pass by our merchandise tables. Now I would like to end by worshiping God just one more time. So you get up on your feet. Let's worship together. Are you ready? Yeah. All right, come on. Clap those hands. Shut up. 